U.S. Supreme Court nominee Ketanji Brown Jackson inched closer towards becoming the first black woman to serve on the nation's top judicial body. On Monday, Jackson secured the support of two more Republican senators in a procedural vote that brings her nomination to the full Senate floor. That comes after the Senate Judiciary Committee deadlocked 11-11 along party lines on whether to advance the nomination. Republicans Lisa Murkowski and Mitt Romney joined Susan Collins, as well as the Senate Democrats and Independents, in voting in favor of the procedural vote. All three said they would confirm Jackson to a lifetime seat in the top court later this week. Jackson is already expected to win the backing of all 48 Democrats and two Independents, giving her a majority of support in the 100-member chamber. But her confirmation would not change the court's current 6-3 conservative majority, as she would fill the seat of retiring Liberal Justice Stephen Breyer. The committee vote followed confirmation hearings last month that again exposed a stark partisan divide towards Supreme Court nominees. Republicans often pursued hostile lines of questioning and tried to paint Jackson as a dangerous liberal activist. She will prove to be the most extreme and the furthest left justice ever to serve on the United States Supreme Court. She will be to the left of Justice Sotomayor. She will be to the left of Justice Kagan. She will be way, way, way to the left of Justice Stephen Breyer. Democrats, meanwhile, praised Jackson's qualifications and record while hailing the history-making aspect of her nomination. If there is one positive to take away from these attacks on her, it is that the nation saw the temperament of a good, strong person ready to serve on the highest court of the land. A final confirmation vote on Jackson was expected for Thursday or Friday.